Okay, let's do a little walkthrough of the AirTurn BT-105 Bluetooth page turner for the iPad and Bluetooth equipped computers. Okay, let's take a look at the front panel over here. You can see there is a power button, a left port for turning pages backwards, a power indicator light, a right port for turning pages forwards, and a mini USB port for charging the internal rechargeable battery. Assuming that everything's charged, let's go ahead and turn the unit on. The way to do that is to push this little red button. I use my fingernail to kind of push it and I'm going to hold it for about a second and then you'll see a green light and then it should start flashing to show that it is in pairing mode. It's going to be looking for a device. To turn the unit off, simply push and hold the power button for about one second and then you should see a sequence of red lights and then it'll go out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the unit on and try to pair it with my iPad. Let's show you how to do that. So go ahead and turn this on by holding the button down. All right, and now the blinking light will show that it's in, uh, it's look, it's, it's actually in, uh, kind of seeking uh, a Bluetooth device to pair with. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's go focus on the iPad behind me and I'll show you how to uh, maneuver the iPad settings to have it recognize and pair up with the BT-105. To pair the BT-105 with an iPad, you need to make sure that the BT-105 is turned on. Okay, you can see the blinking light here. In my iPad, I'm going to go into Settings. Within the General category, I'm going to go into the Bluetooth settings. Right now, my Bluetooth is turned off. Make sure it's turned on by touching that button over there. And in a moment, it's going to start searching for uh, compatible devices. You should see either a keyboard or the air term with a MAC address, and it's going to say it's not paired yet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tap this. and after a short while you can see that it's now connected. Now sometimes it'll pop up a dialog box asking you if you want to pair and to confirm the pairing. You just simply say yes and now you are connected uh, between the iPad and the AirTurn. Okay? I'm going to go into an applicable app and let's go talk about actual page turns. If you're having difficulties pairing your AirTurn BT-105 with an iPad, you can reset the pairing settings on your BT-105. Here's how you do so. First, let's turn the unit on. Push it for one second, you see a green light flashing. Now I'm going to push this power button one more time. This time I'm going to hold the power button down for about 8 to 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. Hold it down. And then you're going to see a succession of red and green lights blinking very rapidly. There you go, red and green blinking rapidly. When that's done, now I know that the BT-105 has reset its pairing mode. Try it once again, you should be able to pair with your iPad now. If you're experiencing difficulties getting your BT-105 to pair with your iPad, you may want to try to reset the network settings on your iPad. To do so, go into Settings, and then at the very bottom, take a look at this Reset option. Press on that and about halfway down you're going to see a, a button that says reset network settings. Go ahead and press that and that will delete all network settings and return them to factory defaults including all your Bluetooth settings and Wi-Fi settings. Let's go ahead and press that and after rebooting your iPad will be back to its original network settings and you can try repairing your BT-105 to the Bluetooth settings after the reboot. If you're still having difficulties pairing up your BT-105 with an iPad, go into your settings, and this is just a way to kind of refresh and reboot everything. As you can see, this is not connected. Uh, this is the Bluetooth that's turned on, and what I'm going to do is you can see this little blue arrow over here. I'm going to tap that blue arrow, and then I'm going to tap on Forget This Device, okay? And then it'll, it'll cause the iPad to forget the pairing and remove this device from its list. Okay, now it's, as you can see the status has been changed to not paired. Okay, maybe you might want to just even turn this off for a bit. Reset, you, know, you can try to reboot your iPad, turn it back on again, and then you can initiate the pairing once, once again. And again with the BT-105 turned on, that's right now it's turned off, with the BT-105 turned back on, okay, you can also 
then reinitiate the pairing sequence. I'm going to tap on that to get it to pair once again. And in a few moments, uh, that should pair. But again, that's just a way, if you want to clear off the memory buffer, if you have multiple Bluetooth devices and some of them are conflicting, you might, that's one way to forget and remove a Bluetooth device from your iPad. If you've paired your BT-105 with an iPad and are trying to turn pages in a compatible app but nothing's happening, then your BT-105 may be stuck in PC mode. To change the BT-105 back to iPad mode, here's what you're going to do. First of all, turn off your BT-105. Then you're going to take a pedal and plug it into the right port, right next to the USB port over here. Now, I'm going to hold my pedal and keep it depressed. And while it's depressed, I'm going to turn the unit back on. And you're going to see, you're going to see a series of red, green, 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 and a final red flash and that will tell me that this has now been switched back to iPad mode. Once you have everything set up with your air turn and everything's paired up between the BT-105 and the iPad, all you need to do next is to plug in a pedal on the right port to turn pages forwards and then a pedal on the left port to turn pages backwards.